Stand by for action. We are about to launch Stingray. Anything can happen in the next half hour. sent the readings, Haywire. Ah, calm now, though. Looks as though I'm in for a quiet night. Marineville, and uh, this is Weather Station 4. Routine check call. Nothing to report. We had a heck of a storm, but it's all quiet now. Number 4, this is Marineville. Roger. Changing frequency. We'll be back on the air 0800 hours for next check. Good night. Good night, Marineville. Over and out. Ah, that finishes that. Uh, I guess I'll turn in. Hey, what's that? Someone coming up the ladder? Oh, but that's impossible. We're in the middle of the ocean. Who's there? Who is it? Who are you? What do you want? Say, what are you gonna do? That's just a sample of what you'll get, Cotter, if you don't do what we say. What is it? What do you want me to do? First, our engineers plan a few changes to this place. And then, when they've finished, you'll call for Stingray. I, I, I don't get this. What's it all about? Just do as you're told. You'll soon find out. Stingray is what we want. Carter 
sure didn't say what it was all about, Troy, but you'd better take a look. It's weather station four. Okay, Atlanta. Will do. I'll be waiting for your report. Okay. We'll be there before you can say PWOR. <laughs> Just look at this place. What happened? Well, it's a strange story, Captain. Okay, we're waiting. Let's hear it. I'm sorry, Captain, but I'm, I'm afraid you walked into a trap. Hey, what's going on? What is this? Okay, Carter, what's all this about? Shooting me won't do any good, Captain. I, once the machinery is set in motion, nothing can stop it. Troy, we're being pulled down like we were in an elevator. Yeah. We must be going down into the center of the Earth. Slowing down, we stopped. Welcome to our city, Captain. Deep in the bowels of the earth, we have been expecting you. Stingray from Tower. Stingray from Tower. Still no answer, Atlanta. No. You'd better get the commander. I'll carry on calling. Stingray from Tower. Stingray from Tower. Are you receiving me? Stingray, come in, please. Mm, nothing. What happened, Atlanta? Stingray was on patrol, sir, when we had this emergency call from Weather Station 4. Then contact the Weather Station. Well, I have, sir. We can't reach them either. Okay, so your scheme for getting us here worked. What now? There is no need to take that attitude, Captain Tempest. We would like to feel that you are our friends. Friends? Gee, what do you do to your enemies? Uh, we hope that you will never fall into that category, landman. But you will, if you continue your warlike ways. Now, wait a minute. What do you mean, warlike ways? You plan to attack us. You're wrong. Now, let's get a few things straight. You will get an opportunity to speak when we question you, Captain. That is the reason why you were brought here. What happens after that? If we are satisfied, you are free to go. Please do not blame Carter for your predicament. We regret it. But we had to force him to help us. We will call you when we are ready. In the meantime, please, make yourselves comfortable. Do you believe this story, Troy? I, I mean, about capturing us to see if we're planning to invade them. Oh, it's pretty incredible to me. But let's see what happens. It has worked perfectly so far. Yes, they will suspect nothing. We will question Troy Tempest while he sits in this chair. The brain reading chair that shows all his thoughts on the screen. And the knowledge we take from him 
will enable us to capture Marineville, the first step in our conquest of the Earth. Then the whole of the Turanian race will be stamped out. <laughs> That must be some interrogation. Troy's been in there for hours. Well, they're wasting their time. They won't get anything out of him. So you stick by your story that you Turanians had no thought of invading us? Of course I stick by it. It's the truth. Very well. Now about Marineville. Is there a sea entrance? That's secret information. I can't answer. We will not press the question, Captain. If you don't wish to answer, you don't have to. In the case of Marineville being attacked, what happens? Or is that secret too? It's secret, all right. You can save yourself time asking questions like these. I refuse to answer. That's all right, Captain Tempest. You have been most cooperative. You've told us all we want to know. And now we will escort you back to Stingray. You didn't answer any of the questions, did you, Troy? Of course I didn't. It sure seemed to give up pretty easy, considering all the trouble they went to in the first place. You guys can think what you like of me. I let you down badly, I know that, but I tell you one thing. I don't trust them. Yeah, they're up to something, all right. But the question is, what? We are ready. Our subterranean travel cylinder is standing by. Good. The brain reading machine worked perfectly. We have all the necessary information we require. And we have the element of surprise on our side. They will never expect an invasion from beneath the ground. Indeed not. Alert our men. The first objective is... Marineville! I don't believe it. I just don't believe it. Don't worry, I didn't tell them anything. That goes without saying, Captain. But I don't believe that anyone would go to all that trouble, fixing the tower, scaring Carter, just to ask a few lousy questions that they knew they wouldn't get the answers to. I know, it just doesn't add up. But I've got a hunch it means trouble. Well, I'm taking no chances. Atlanta? Sir? Sound launch stations. Launch stage one. Right. Sound battle stations. Yes, sir. completed, sir. Good. Whatever the danger, we're ready for it. Now all we do is wait. It's been nearly four hours, Troy. We don't even know if anything's gonna happen. Mm, true, but my hunch is we're gonna see some action. Yeah, but when? We can't stay at battle stations forever. Yeah, Commander Shore has got a tough decision on his hands. Anything to report? No, sir. Four hours exactly, sir. Do we carry on waiting? Yeah, we carry on waiting. This is Commander Shore. All personnel are to remain in their quarters for a further period of four hours. We have 
broken the surface. We are in Marineville. Our first objective, the control tower. Look, they are expecting trouble. Tri Tempest's thought waves showed the buildings below ground when danger threatened. Then we shall have to proceed carefully. Come, follow me. Yes, it is exactly as the brain reader showed us. clear? Yes, sir. We'll remain at battle stations for another half hour. We can't keep this up. Just have to rely on extra patrols. Stay right where you are. If you move, we shall kill you. Okay, now. Walk slowly to that wall. Keep away from the controls. You are our prisoners. All of you. Troy, that voice on the radio. Yeah, it's one of the characters that captured us. They must be in the control room and someone's flicked the switch. No harm will come to you if you obey my orders. You don't stand a chance of getting away with this. <laughs> don't we, Commander? We know exactly how Marineville works. Troy Tempest told us everything. <laughs> That's right, Commander. Troy Tempest told us everything. Okay, Phones. Now we know the score. Let's get back to Marineville. Right, Troy. <laughs> Ah, uh, don't look so shocked, Commander. You see, we used a brain-reading machine. Captain Tempest did not betray you intentionally. So that's what they were up to. We are in luck. All our craft are at sea. Right. Keep the ocean door closed. Did you hear that, Troy? Quiet. We've got to find out what they're up to. You seem very confident of your success. And why shouldn't we? Our invasion is planned to the last detail. Even the best laid plans go wrong. You and the commander are the only ones who know we are in the control tower. So you are at our mercy. It won't be long now until our troops invade. They are already on the move. Our invading force is approaching. Good. Marineville will soon be ours. Open ocean door by remote phones. Troy, it's not opening. Oh, they must have jammed the remote control mechanism. Come on, Troy. Well, only one thing to do. Use the sting missiles. But the explosions could block the tunnel, Troy. Yeah, but we'll have to take our chance. Number one sting. Number one. Fire one.
We made it. Not yet, we haven't. <laughs> Something's entering the tunnel. And that something is Stingray. Okay, the little game's over, gentlemen. Your invading force won't get far now. And it takes exactly three minutes for Troy to get from the pen to the control tower. You may as well surrender. You underestimate us, Commander. We don't give up that easily. Now move quickly to the standby room. And no tricks. Right. Open number one hatch phones. Bring down injector tubes and fast. We've got to get to the control tower. Number one hatch and injector tubes. Remember, Commander, not a word or you'll all die. Stingray is our only chance of escape, Commander. So you'd better not spoil it. They're coming. Drop those guns, gentlemen. If we die, your people will go with us. You're fighting a losing game. We'll decide that, Troy Tempest. Now get out of those chairs. Both of you, at once! They mean business, Troy. Do as they say. Okay. But you won't get far. And if you're thinking of doing anything foolish, remember, when we get into Stingray, your traitress of the sea, Marina, will be with us. Or had you thought it had escaped our notice that she was still on board? That's quite a point. Goodbye, gentlemen. Until the next time. Troy, what are you doing? This is Troy calling Stingray. Marina, can you hear me? Tap once if you do. Now listen, there's not much time. Do exactly as I say. Hurry, Marina, hurry! Well, by the sound of it, Marina made it okay. <laughs> Guess that's the end of their invasion. As I said earlier, even the best laid plans can go wrong. Close to my heart. 